Welcome to Dayless Class, brought to you by Alondra, Sofia, and Carmen. Today we will be learning about circuits. Circuits are passed for electricity to flow. They are usually made out of wires or other electronic parts. For today's demonstration, you will need your electric Play-Doh kit. It should include a battery, connector, Play-Doh, modeling clay, and five LED lights. We will now take the battery and the connector and put them together, like so. Important safety note, make sure that the metal parts, battery pack, prongs, and LED legs do not touch each other directly. This can cause the circuit to get hot. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started. In your kits, you have received Play-Doh. You may shape them into any shape that you want, but for this demonstration, I decided to use cubes. As you can see, we have two wires. The red one, I will be plugging into the orange Play-Doh, and the black one, I will be plugging into the yellow Play-Doh. Pick up an LED light and look at it closely. Notice how it has a long leg? The long leg will be going into the orange Play-Doh, while the short leg will go into the yellow Play-Doh. For this, you will have to bend the legs slightly apart. At this point, your long leg should be connected to the same Play-Doh that is connected to the red wire. Can you tell what is happening right now? Nothing. Right now, we still have an open circuit. There is no complete path for electricity to flow. It's now time to plug in the short leg into the other lump of Play-Doh. What is happening now? Your LED light should light up. Why does this happen? We have now closed the circuit. There is now a complete path for electricity to flow. Now, push your lumps of Play-Doh together and watch what happens. The LED light should turn off. We created a short circuit. Electricity likes to follow the path of least resistance. When the lumps of Play-Doh touch, the electricity takes a shortcut through the Play-Doh instead of going through the LED light, so the LED light does not light up. So how can we prevent a short circuit? We can use insulating dough. In this case, we will use modeling clay to separate the two lumps of conductive dough and prevent them from touching. This will help prevent any short circuits. Try to connect more than one LED light. You can achieve this by putting more LED lights right next to the first one that you attached. As you are attaching more lights, it can be easy to create a short circuit. To prevent any short circuit, just add your modeling clay in between your two pieces of Play-Doh and you should be good. Now that you have learned and know how to create a closed circuit with multiple LED lights that light up and how to avoid open and short circuits, Use your creativity to create any type of shape or sculptures that you would like. Don't forget to share any pictures or videos of your amazing creations.